We are back. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're doing a long ride on the BMW M1000 Single R today. Mike should be already warmed up. Let's start her up. We are doing a trip to LA. There's a meet going on in LA. We literally just decided that we're going there. The meet already started like an hour or two ago. Something like that. So we decided last minute that we're like you know what let's go to this meet I'm wearing also headphones so let's see how this is gonna feel I'm wearing it only on my exhaust side because it's gonna be like I think it's an hour 20 hour 30 drive assuming there's no traffic so I'm so glad I switched to the GP shift oh this bike is so smooth the I love the quick shifter pretty bumpy over here need to warm up the tires the tires are still technically new the headphones that I'm using have like a bind on them to pause and start the music and I just like press on the helmet and it like pushes the button this, this bug is going to be going on the ride with me like the one from the canyon ride on the m1000 double r if you guys remember that that bug hit like the lens right from the start and people are like wow that bug went on a ride i'm like yep sure did we are very much in a rush that is 12 so hopefully we can get there by i don't know when wow seriously Yes, sir. That's lame. Yeah, I thought it would be like a, a quick release type of thing. This is my uh, pit crew for the race that we're doing. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, it is 12 right now, and the meet started at 10, and it ends at 2, I believe. It's going to be a tight one for sure, since the drive is like an hour, 20, hour, 30. I mean, if we catch it to the last 30 minutes, I'll be good. We have a total of 76 miles on this bike. I think he said about 60 to 65 miles straight let's just say 60 miles 60 plus 70 is 130 so let's just say 140 in case it's 65 since it's 70. okay so let's say 140 is when we should be like getting there or close to there at least <laughs> maxing out the rev limiter on every single gear this is the first naked bike that i have that got mirrors even though I would say the handlebars, handlebars vibrate so much that it's actually really hard to see through the mirrors. Like it's all blurry. But yeah, this bike honestly feels very, very similar to my M1000R. That's double R, I mean. A little obviously like uh, more wobbly since the handlebars and everything. Uh, I was saying that I just posted the reveal video of this bike today. And a lot of you guys love it. A lot of you guys want me to keep it in the collection. Uh, some of you are saying I should put the rush for rent instead and I don't think putting the rush uh, for rent would make any sense because first of all the rush is way more expensive than this bike uh, we got this bike for a good deal but still the rush is at least I'd say like about uh, yeah like based on MSRP the rush is 45k this is 32k so about $15,000 more you know 12.5 or something like that uh, more expensive than this bike it's uh, a bit more rough you know what i mean like it's more of like a collector bike it's also more rare than this they're making i believe 500 units worldwide of this bike and the rush is limited to 300 if i'm not wrong yeah i got number 124 you know it's numbered it's more expensive uh it's not as easy or as fun to ride i think it's more of a like show bike that is still like you know you appreciate like the craftsmanship of it and stuff like that this bike is definitely more of like you know like ride around take it through like canyon and stuff like that and uh joy ride it more so i don't think it would like you know you guys think yeah this bike is rare stuff like that well the rush is more rare and more expensive so obviously that would make sense plus i don't know i like the looks of the rush better i think this is look really cool and aggressive uh, but I think the Rush has that like kind of like unique, uh, clean but modern look at the same time, if you know what I mean. So it looks like old school, like with the headlight and with the tail light, but at the same time it's like very modern because it has like all these like high end lights and high end parts. So I really like that kind of like Mad Max like uh, looking bike, you know, just looks very aggressive. Let me tell you though, right now. 
when it's windy, going highway speeds, these naked bikes are no fun. Yeah, I was saying the first time I rode it was my first drive ride of it. It was like very short. I kind of. <laughs> It was very short and I was kind of like rushing to install some parts and I've already filmed, I had like three videos filmed that day. So it was a very hectic long day, I didn't get to full on properly experience it, you know what I mean? I feel like this bike is the ultimate kind of like commuter. And it does feel a little bit racy, I'm not like completely straight up, it does feel a little bit tucked. The rear sets obviously feel more relaxed than the S1000RR or my M1000RR. You know, so it feels very similar, just a little bit more upright, and I, I can't judge like the speed and all of that of it. Also, if you guys did want to rent out this bike, or I have the other V4S also, you guys will be able to rent out these two bikes. Yeah, I was talking about how, like, I went through the comments, and all of you guys were like, pretty much everyone was like, don't do it, this is a rare bike, you know, you should keep it in the collection, and stuff like that. So yeah, my plan for it, obviously, I'm gonna make a lot of content with it, you know, take it to meets, do things, we're going to LA right now, and there's only so much content I can do with it. There's not many parts available for it, because, you know, it's literally brand new. I bought, like, the first one. At least that's what I was informed by the dealership, that this was the first one, if not in America, then definitely in, like, the West Coast. So, you know, it's still a very, very new vehicle, and there's absolutely, like, nobody that makes parts for it, so. There's not much I can do to it, and the bike, as you guys see, it comes like very ready already. Like it has levers, it has rear sets, bar and mirrors, it has a slip-on. I won't be doing a full system, just in case, for liability reasons. Uh, I'm not going to do headers on it, because if somebody rented it out, and then, for example, let's say they got pulled over for a loud exhaust, technically, if we might be liable, I'm not sure, like, if there's a gray area there, or if it'll be, like, our fault, you know, and we have to pay for the ticket. So there is kind of like no point to spend a couple thousand dollars to put the full system uh, and take that risk, you know. At least it has the acro slip on, so it doesn't sound too bad. And as soon as we get the spike unlocked with velocity stacks and stuff like that, it's gonna feel pretty much as fast as if it had a full system, you know. It might feel a little heavier now, obviously, because it has the cats and the stainless headers, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad. I also hope that. It's not extremely loud for you guys because it sure is uh, windy and it's even more windy since we're on this naked bike. So hopefully you guys can hear me well. But yeah, I'll probably make uh, two separate videos instead of like one super long video, uh, which is gonna be like us taking this bike uh, all the way to, or like right now, just kind of like giving you guys my first impressions, a proper like first ride, ride it longer. And I'll probably do another video like when I'm riding it around LA and stuff like that because you guys like these videos. Uh, the meet is nearby Santa Monica. If, for the people that play GTA, they know what Santa Monica is, the pier and all that stuff. So the plan is to go there. Uh, this bike does have electronic suspension unlike the M1000RR. So that, that one is a like, full race one. This is like that kind of crossover between track but at the same time it's a naked so it still focuses on the comfort. So it, it, to me it's very interesting that they even made this because you know, to have like a track naked bike is kind of crazy. But it makes sense, you know, these bikes would be a lot of fun in the canyons. The naked bikes usually have more torque. I'm not 100% sure about the M1000 single R versus the double R. I'll probably throw the stats in the paper for you on, on the paper. What? What is this? Uh, the 1950s or something? On the screen for you guys. Uh, to compare the torque between the, this one and the double R. I don't know if it's the road that's really bumpy or the bike is pretty bumpy, but also we do have... Oh, I wonder if I can change my suspension settings through here. Okay, we got the vehicle's temperature, the tire pressure. Oh my god, the tire pressure is really high. Yeah, this is hot tire pressure, but we got 38 in the front and 45 in the rear. That's way too high. I like my tire pressure to be like low 30s and yeah that is like warm low 30s cold probably like around 30 so yeah this is too high but i guess we are commuting so you know it's better for the lifetime of the tire yeah we got the range here the average speed all these other stuff i'm pretty sure it's, it's the exact same dash pretty much as the m1000 level r but i never really looked through all these stuff so uh actually now that i'm thinking about it i think the s1000 does come with tire pressure sensors 
the M1000 Double R does not because, you know, weight savings, it's a race bike, so you can't see your tire pressure on the fly, which I think is a definitely a, a very cool feature that I would like to have. I'm so scared riding like this close to the McLaren because if we go through any debris or something, the, this car got sticky tires. And I don't know if you guys saw when I bought the V4S, I was wearing shorts. I showed you guys like my shin and my leg and it's all messed up and I have no kind of like a uh, wrap or anything around it right now. So if I get hit with a rock on this naked bike, this is going to be miserable <laughs> race dynamic road. Okay, so I can probably switch it, I'm assuming. This should make it a lot smoother. Oh, I definitely feel the difference in the throttle too. There we go. Oh yeah, so it does change the damping too. Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted to test. And now we can go back in race mode so we can have like all the race settings, low ABS or whatever, or maybe no rear ABS so it can slide, stuff like that. It definitely feels like now that the damping is in road mode, the bike definitely feels like it's gliding a lot more. It's a little like more bouncy and less stiff, which is pretty nice while riding. Oh no! I was looking at the miles and it was 98 miles and I got too caught up in all this and uh, missed when we hit 100 miles. It's at 107 right now. This bike is the newest rental bike for you guys. Also, if you are local and for example, you like drove over to rent out this bike, we're gonna have like helmet rentals as well. So you can, you know, pick up the helmet. We're gonna have like helmets in different sizes. So it's all through the app, it's through Rideshare. Uh, but follow Superbike Rentals. Yeah, follow Superbike Rentals on Instagram. And the link is in the bio or uh, the first link in the description down below or one of the links down in the description below you can also check it out yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video this bike feels absolutely amazing and yeah that i can't believe that this is a naked bike that pretty much has my m1000 double r engine so yeah excited to get it tuned and a lot more content coming with it uh, probably take it to through a canyon stuff like that you know do full-on testing race it with some uh, of my other naked bikes maybe against the rush too that would be really cool seeing this against the rush. Drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, right safe.